In this in-depth ConvertKit review, I'm going to go through everything from pricing to features and what makes ConvertKit stand out from the rest. And I'm going to help you answer the question, is ConvertKit right for me? I've used a lot of email service providers in the past, including Constant Contact, MailChimp, Aweber, and most recently Entreport, but I've since moved over to ConvertKit, and as we go through this review, you'll see why. I've also grown my subscriber base from 1,300 people to 13,000 people in the last two years in a small niche market about property investing in Australia. And I've created some pretty complex evergreen launch funnels so I know what I'm doing when it comes to email service providers and I know what features are important and what's not. So in this ConvertKit review, I'm going to take you inside my account to show you exactly how ConvertKit works so you can work out whether it's going to be right for you. Just a quick disclaimer that I am an affiliate of ConvertKit, so if you think that skews this review, then take this review with a grain of salt. However, please note that I am also an affiliate of a lot of other different email service providers as well who offer the same payouts as ConvertKit. As we go through this review, you can check it out for yourself by going to convertkit.com to begin with, and that is pricing. Now their pricing starts from $29 per month for up to a thousand subscribers. And it's then a sliding scale from there. You can go ahead and you can play with this tool for 5,000 subscribers at $79 a month, 10,000 it's 119, 15,000 which is what I'm paying is 149 per month. And you can go ahead and you can slide up from there based on how many subscribers that you have. Boop. This is very similar pricing to Aweber and MailChimp. ConvertKit is cheaper in some cases, slightly more expensive in other cases, but it basically evens out between them. They're basically all the same price, and it's much cheaper than something like Entreport, where you're going to be paying $300 per month, and a lot, lot cheaper than Infusionsoft, where you're going to be paying you know, upwards of $300 per month for that. So when it comes to pricing, ConvertKit is more competitive than the more advanced email service providers like Entreport and Infusionsoft, and they're price competitive with the more basic email service providers like Aweber, MailChimp, GetResponse, and all of those ones. However, ConvertKit has some features that put it above Aweber and MailChimp and make it more effective at sending out emails and getting conversions on those emails, and we'll talk through that in a second. So when it comes to pricing, there's really no reason I can see to not at least consider ConvertKit. There's a feature that every basic email service provider needs to have, and that's creating and sending emails and follow-up sequences, and ConvertKit does this really well. Once you've logged into ConvertKit, manually sending out a broadcast to your list is really simple. We just go ahead and click on the Broadcast tab. We then go ahead and click on New Broadcast. And one of the features that makes ConvertKit better than Aweber and MailChimp and email service providers like that is the ability to add tags to your email subscribers. And based on these tags or even the forms they're filled out on the courses or the segments that they're in, you can really segment your list for the broadcast that you're sending out. So for example, I could send a different broadcast to my customers that I would send to perhaps my general list. So what I can do is I can select the general people and let's say I want to exclude customers in this case because I'm only going to send this out to non-customers. I can just go ahead and exclude everyone with the customer tag and go ahead and click no next. That's something that you can't really do with other email service providers. That ability to segment is really powerful. Creating an email is really simple. You just put in your subject, then put in your content. I will quickly mention that one of the negatives of ConvertKit is that they don't have many email templates at the moment. So you'll either need to have your own HTML template that you can paste the code in, or you'll need to be happy sending out these basic text emails. The email's now ready. I can test that by sending out an email to myself, or I can actually preview it in the browser as well. Now you can send this email out immediately, or you can delay it and send it out at a scheduled time. Really easy to create those broadcast messages. Creating the follow-up sequences is just as easy. You go to courses, which is what they call follow-up sequences, and you click on the create course button. I'll just name it example one course. 
Now, the really great thing about the follow-up editor with ConvertKit is that they show you all the emails on the side here and you can edit them all together at once. It's really easy to drag emails around, move things, edit things in here. I can go ahead and edit this text. Whereas in other services, you would need to individually open a separate page for this email, go ahead, edit it, save it, come back to the follow-up, go to the second email. And you just have to jump back and forth a lot more. And so this makes editing your follow-up sequence and understanding understanding the sequence that you're sending people through so much easier. You can adjust the delays of the email. So this one goes out one day after the last email. This one goes out two days after. This one goes out four days after. And you can also adjust when this course is sent out. So let's say I only want to send out this follow-up sequence to subscribers on Monday and Thursday. And I want my emails to go out at 8 a.m. in the morning. I can go ahead and do that. Once you've created a course and it's been running for a while, you can then go through to reports and you can see the open rates of each of those emails, how many people click through, how many it was sent out to, and how many unsubscribed. So creating and sending emails and follow-ups is really easy. Their autoresponder is, I think, one of the best in the industry and creating broadcasts is really simple and you have that ability to segment people based on their tag or based on the form that they filled out on their webpage or based on the course that they're currently in. And so you can do that segmentation so you can send out more targeted emails than you would be able to otherwise. The next thing that's going to be really important is the ability to create sign-up forms so people can sign up for your email list. Creating a form is very simple. You can go ahead and click create form. You can actually create a landing page with ConvertKit as well. So if you wanna send someone to a squeeze page, you can do that, which is really cool. Or you can go ahead and create a form for your website. Now you can see the different styles of forms. I'm just going to click this uh, more advanced style here. And I'll just quickly show you in the settings, you can go and change that form style at any time, or you can show this form as inline, which means it's going to appear within your content wherever you put the embed code. You can have it as modal, so it's going to appear as a light box, or you can have it slide in from the right hand corner. So if someone scrolls down your page, it can slide in and ask them to opt in. Editing your opt-in form is really easy. You can change the text. You can also go ahead and adjust the image if you want. And one of the features that I love is that when someone has filled out your form and they then return to your website, you can continue to show the form, you can hide the form, or you can actually show custom content, which I absolutely love. So you could show maybe a banner or a link to one of your products now that they're already an email subscriber. So this takes advantage of what would otherwise be dead space because they're not going to sign up for your email list twice. Another great feature with ConvertKit is the double opt-in email that you send out doesn't have to be that boring, click this link to confirm your email address. I can actually change this to, here's your freebie, click the link below to get it, and they've got a button that says get my freebie, and I can upload a file, or I can actually change that to a URL and send them to a specific URL. And so rather than them getting an email saying, please confirm your email address, they'll get an email saying, here's your freebie, go ahead and click to get it. And when they click it, they'll get their freebie, but they'll also be double opted into your email list. So it's a much better experience. And if you want single opt-ins as well, you can auto confirm new members. You also have the ability to add people to any follow-up sequence you want once they subscribe, and you can make that course mandatory if you want. Embedding the form is as simple as taking this little script and then pasting it onto your website, or you can do the full HTML as well if you wanted to customize it. You can also take this raw HTML code and put it into lead pages. So if you're a lead pages customer, then you can use ConvertKit with lead pages. For example, here's my website. This is a lead box, it's an image. When you click on it, it pops this up. If someone fills this out, they then subscribe to my ConvertKit account and they go in there. The same as with this squeeze page, if they click on that and they fill this out and click reveal the properties, they'll then be subscribed to my email list in ConvertKit. So creating sign-up forms is really great. They've got some beautiful sign-up forms there with the ability to show something else like marketing a product for sale after someone's filled out a form. And it also works with lead pages, which is a big deal for me because all of my sign-up forms are with lead pages. The thing that puts ConvertKit above the rest is the powerful automations that are built into the system. If you were to join something like Aweber, then once someone signs up for one list, that's it. They're on that list. You can't move them between lists. You can't tag them. If they 
take an action, you can't do anything as a result. Whereas with ConvertKit, you do have some powerful automations that you can do. So let me quickly show you those. Inside ConvertKit, if we go to the automation section, this is where you can create a whole bunch of different automations. And so we can go ahead and click add rule and we can see whenever someone subscribes to a course, we can also add a tag to them or we can create a broadcast draft or we can remove a tag or we can do all sorts of different things. What I love the best, I think the most useful ones are when they complete a course, we can then subscribe them to another course or we can add a tag to them or this one is the most powerful when they click a link, we can then subscribe them to a course. Uh, we could also go ahead and add a tag for that user as well. So let's say someone clicks a link, they're going to my product page. So it's going. I'm just gonna call it on property product and it's my membership site, okay? So on property.com.au forward slash membership. So let's say someone clicks a link to view my sales page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add them to this launch funnel, which is then going to talk more about my membership site and encourage them to sign up. I'm also gonna add a tag. Um, I'll just add the general tag for now, but ideally I could add a tag to say that they've been through this funnel. Let's go ahead and click save rule. And now when I go ahead and create a broadcast, so let's go ahead and go back to this broadcast that we were creating before four and this is only going out to general it's not going out to customers if I want to create a link in this broadcast so we can see here let's create link to sales page from Ryan and if we go ahead and highlight this link we can add a link trigger and we can see on property product here and we can go ahead and insert that link. So I can put my content in here and a link and now that's going to go out to my list of 12,500 recipients and if someone clicks that link, it tells me they're actually slightly interested in my product. And when they click that link, they'll be added to another autoresponder sequence where it'll talk more about my product, show them some testimonials, encourage them to sign up. So there's some really powerful automations inside ConvertKit and they're really easy to do. I used to be a member of Entreport and managing your automations was just extremely difficult and very confusing. Whereas in ConvertKit, it's made extremely simple. The next thing that puts ConvertKit above the rest is the ability to tag your customers. So here's one of my subscribers and if I go into the account, it shows all the tags that are associated with them. And what you can do, let's say I'll delete some of these, is let's say they become a customer of my membership site, that's a plus customer, I can go ahead and just add that tag to them and then they'll be associated with any emails that go out to plus customers, it will now go out to this person. And I've actually got it set up in Zapier where when someone fills out a Stripe form or pays me via Stripe, they get tags added to them in ConvertKit. So customer tagging is really powerful. I know they're a customer and I know what products they've purchased from me. So I can adjust what emails I send them and don't send them based on that. So customer tagging is really powerful because you can then draw out segments. I only want to email people who bought a specific course from me or I want to email my list about that specific course. Let's exclude the people who have already purchased it so they're not getting a sales message for something they've already purchased. So tagging is very powerful. So that basically covers my in-depth convert kit review. The basic requirements you're going to need in any email marketing service is you need good pricing, which ConvertKit had. You need to be able to send broadcasts and follow-up sequences, which we're able to do within ConvertKit. You need to be able to create sign-up forms and to collect email addresses, which we can do in ConvertKit. Also, I can use lead pages with ConvertKit, which is important to me, and they had that setting when someone fills out a form, I can then display something else to them like a product advertisement or something like that. And there were some advanced features that ConvertKit had that sets it above your Awebers and your MailChimps of the world. The first one was the ability to tag your customers, so you can tag them based on whether they're a customer or whether they're not, or tag them based on the products that they've purchased or the courses they've gone through, etc. You can also move your customers around between your different courses or follow-up sequences. There's the automations there. The one that I love the most is when they click a link, I can add them to an automatic follow-up sequence. And now as well, ConvertKit is starting to be in 
integrated into a lot of different platforms out there. You can use them in lead pages, you can use them in Zapier. Lead pages is about to create a new product called Central, which will have ConvertKit integration as well. And more and more people are starting to integrate with ConvertKit now because it is becoming really popular because it is such a great service. And the major negative of ConvertKit was the lack of email templates. So you would need to get some sort of HTML template that you could then paste into ConvertKit if you wanted to have a fancy looking email and not just the plain text ones. So there you have my in-depth convert kit review. So what do you think? Is it right for you? If it is right for you, it's really easy to import subscribers. You just export them as a CSV file from anywhere, from Aweber, Mailchimp, all of those sort of guys. You just click import subscribers and then you can go ahead and put your CSV file in there and you can tag the people as you upload them. So moving across to Aweber is really easy. If you decide that, yep, I wanna give ConvertKit a try, you can check it out for yourself. Go to convertkit.com or you can go through my affiliate link, which I really